Hi, Tramones. Mr. McCraw here. Okay, for this video, it's a review on hand position and holding. You must watch this video as, as many times as it takes you to actually hold the instrument right. If you're online at home, you cannot just make up how you hold it. You need to look exactly like I show you in the video, okay? So let's keep watching, okay? All right, so first step, what I want to review with you is how to hold it. I'm going to assume, go ahead and have your instrument out. I'm going to assume you already know how to put it together because we've been working hard on that, okay? But make sure if you're holding like this, um, you make your gun finger in your left hand, okay? And watch, my thumb goes inside and touches the trigger. If you don't have a trigger, it's gonna wrap around that top little brace, okay? I'm gonna push on the trigger. My gun finger rests right here along the box, and my other three fingers go inside the box like this, curving in, okay? Go ahead and show me that. Okay, make sure you are doing that. It is not this, I'm not holding it weird, upside down or anything, you must do it exactly, okay? So on your flip grid assignment, I'm gonna want you to show me your hand position every which way, okay? And make sure your right hand, it's two fingers and a thumb, two fingers and a thumb, you're going to go on the bottom side of the slide, not the top. I saw some of you in class doing this, that's not correct, it goes, this bottom brace of the slide, you're gonna to touch the bottom with your thumb. Okay, let me get a better angle. Touch the bottom with your thumb. And then these two fingers go along the bottom of the slide. And then your pinky and ring finger rest on the outside. Okay? So when I'm at ready position, I'm sitting up really tall, back is straight off of the chair, and my bell is on my knee, on my left knee. Okay? I'm not just laying it flat. It's definitely not upside down. Okay, it's just straight up and down. And now let's go to playing position together. Let's go to playing position together. And I want you, this is how I want you to sit, okay? It should be resting on your left shoulder. If you see me, notice my bell. I do not want your slide to be straight up and down like this. If it's like this, that means you're gonna have rocket launcher trombone where it's right up on your ear. Go ahead and relax it down by making that bell and slide, just go at an angle. See this angle? If you can make the slide just go at an angle like that, it'll rest nice and easy on your shoulder, okay? And have it straight up, make it straight, and then go down, it's about 10 degrees. See, I'm really tall. That's the angle I want you to be when you're playing your trombone, okay? I saw some marching band style like this. Remember, we're not in high school marching band, we don't need to hold it up this, okay? And I also saw some of you where you have it up off of your shoulder. That's gonna cause a lot of shoulder strain and your shoulders might hurt, okay? So make sure it's relaxed on your shoulder, nice and easy, and you're just down a little bit like this, okay? So go ahead and practice like that. Just make sure you're holding the instrument the right way, okay? 